Hey you! So after listening to your radio station, I've been listening to some music and reading some scripture and trying to just get myself ready for tomorrow. I was supposed to be out of town, but because we didn't go to the mountains due to weather, I'm home. And so I've been trying to work on my lesson and whatnot. And I came across a piece of scripture that I thought maybe I would share with you. And then I just had a few words I wanted to say to you. So you ready for this? Um, there's one um right there. So it's from Colossians 4, 6, and it says, Let your conversation be gracious and attractive so that you will have the right response for everyone. Can I just tell you that I am amazed when I listen to you on the radio, like how awesome you sound. And while you think that you're not that good or you think, uh, whatever, this is just, you know, a crapshoot. I just want to let you know that like your thoughts are really good and they're very intentional and they're very impressive and I'm so impressed with you. You're more than just this guy that can shoot a gun and write adequate words on a piece of paper which we know that you're good at. You're this guy who has thoughts that people listen to and so I don't want you to ever think that people don't listen because they do and you have this ability to reach the masses, even though you don't believe it, I do. And my mother calls me the anointed one. So take that as a compliment when I tell you that what you say, it does attract people and it, and it does bring people forward. So I thought that scripture that popped up on my screen was really interesting considering I had just spent two hours listening to you talk and that other guy talk. <laughs> But just remember, Colossians 4, 6, let your conversation be gracious and attractive, which I think you do. You're so gracious about the opportunities that you've been given, and you're also really attractive, <laughs> so that you will have the right response for everyone. Hey, you're going to go places, son. Doesn't matter if it's shooting a gun or if it's on a radio station. I just have this great feeling that the Dave Libby is about to blow up this world, and he's going to do amazing and incredible things. So I want you to know that I'm proud of you. I've listened to the show twice now. First time I didn't hear you talk very much. Second time I did, and you were awesome. So I guess you do wake up in the morning and you pee excellence. <laughs> well, i got to get out of here. I've got some things i got to do. And um, a sunset waiting on me. So it's picture day for me. So. I will talk to you soon. I can't wait to see you Monday. And I hope you have a great, great day tomorrow, a great evening tonight. And I'll see you soon.